you know, when I joined student government, I thought it was going to be more about making a difference and less about wasting our weekends painting signs. Oh, well, we are making a difference by fixing Kenny's dumbass mistakes. <laughs> So has anyone asked you yet? Not yet. That's not what I heard. Daniel? No, um, Daniel practically asked the entire girls' tennis team. Shotgun effect. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. Well, what about you, though? Who are you gonna ask? I don't wanna ask anyone. Man up, Peter. It's easy for you to say. Girls just have to sit there and wait to be asked. You have no idea how much pressure there is on the guy's side. Hey, girls have it hard too, okay? We have no control. And if you wanted to ask them, you look desperate. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen to guys anyways? Getting rejected? Or dying. <laughs> Maybe dying would be better. <laughs> I bet you couldn't do it. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> what? Man up, girl. Don't you want control of who you go with? Don't you? All right, I'll ask someone. Only if you do too. <laughs> okay, wait. Well, what if they say no? Then I'll go with you. You know, like, like a backup. <laughs> we, we can be each other's backups. Um, I mean, I guess it's actually not a bad idea. I guess it would kind of take the pressure off of us. All right. Okay, if we both get rejected, we don't have dates for the dance. Then, we'll go together. Deal. <laughs> Good. Okay, back to work. Yeah. Oh. Oh. We have a lot more pain. What's up, Russ? Your age? Uh, wow, that was awful. Actually, I'm still younger than you. Whatever. So, after you helped me move this afternoon, you I was You know what? I was just thinking about that. Why is it that you're making me move your stuff on my birthday? Dude, it's just like a few things. That's what you get for owning a big-ass SUV anyway. And besides, you rejected all my other birthday party ideas. I don't want to party. Yeah, okay, mister. I just want to make it like any other day. My girlfriend just broke up with me. I'm emo and lame, blah, blah. Dude. You're turning 30. We gotta celebrate. Like I was saying, after you helped me move, I was thinking we can start by swinging by a strip club? Rodeo girls? No. Rodeo guys? No. How about an actual rodeo? <laughs> okay, sure. If you can find a rodeo in Los Angeles, I'm in. I'm on it. Tell your folks I said what's up. So, when are you gonna get me some grandchildren? Wow, we're just gonna jump right in, huh? Fine. That's a nice sweater. It's funny how having a kid is your first concern. You know, most people get married first. Getting married is implied. I mean, I could definitely go and have some kids first Don't if you like. Don't even joke about that. I mean, we'd save a lot of money on the non-wedding. Oh, well, that's true, actually. You know, and I could be a baby daddy and have a baby mama. She won't be my wife, but you can kind of meet her and some- Peter. You need to make up with Robin. She is such a sweet girl. Oh yeah, that's debatable. Peter, you're not a boy anymore. You can't just wait around forever. A card? Let me see this thing. Where is it? No. No, you need to do something bigger. You need to let me make you a poster. No, I definitely don't want that. I don't think you understand what you're up against. Scott took his girlfriend to Disney World, okay? And Julian bought like a million flowers and Beanie Babies. This is just a card. I made it myself. I think she'll like it. Of course you made it yourself. I can tell. Look, there's my ride. I gotta go. You're my best friend, but this is shit. I gotta go. Peter. You did it. A lot of things you could be referring to. <laughs> Stupid. Now, I asked Tommy to the dance. Oh! Wow! <laughs> wow, that, that's cool. I, I didn't know you were. I didn't know you were gonna ask him. I, I know. I didn't want to say anything in case I got rejected. You know. But um, oh, I was so nervous. I totally know how you guys feel now. <laughs> See? That's that's great. 
Tommy's cool. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is perfect because I was going to ask someone too. Oh, yeah? Um, is that what the card is for? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who is it? I'll let you know if she says yes. Okay, right. Um, I don't want to psych you out, but let me know how it goes, okay? All right, I'll see you later. Good luck. So just a little heads up, I haven't been home in about a week and I left a little bit of potato salad in the sink, so it might be really stinky. I love how you're making this day so special for me. Dude, I offered you strippers. What better way to celebrate anything than with strippers? What does your girlfriend think about this? Nothing. She used to be one. Holy shit! What? Shh. I for sure locked this when I left. Why is it open? Maybe your landlord smelled the potato salad and thought you died. Shut up. This is serious. What if someone's in there right now, ready to pounce on my luscious butt? Even if they broke in, they're probably long gone now, and then I won't have to move your stuff. Yay! Stupid. I'm gonna call the police. Hold on to this. Don't go. Peter, stop. Peter! Damn it, Russ. Wait, this isn't mine. <gasps> oh. Joanna? Oh my god. Hey, Russ. What are you doing here? Um, I thought I'd get a head start moving in. I'm, I'm sorry, I should have told you. Oh my god, Peter? Joanna? <laughs> Wait, do you guys know each other? Yeah. <laughs> So I had no idea you were back. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, I wouldn't really expect people to know. I know I kind of fell off the radar when I went abroad. Oh yeah, totally you know? disappeared. Five years in Singapore, two in India. Just thought it was about time, you know? Didn't really have anyone or anything keeping me there. Oh, I thought you had some uh, some finance guy. I, I mean, not that I was like stalking you or anything. I, you know, you, you see the timeline go down. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, well, your online stocking is about three years behind, oh, um, but no, that didn't really work out. But what about you? Oh yeah, it didn't work out between <laughs> me and him too. No, really though, like, are you seeing anyone? Uh, yeah, yeah, I was, I was seeing this girl Robin and we were about to, I mean, you know what, it's, it's complicated. That kind of seems like the theme of our 20s, you know? Really? I mean, mistravel the world. I mean, it seems like you definitely lived it up. I wouldn't have come back if I were you. The thing is, I was up for this job. I got pretty far, but I didn't. I didn't get it. So. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I, I promised myself that I'd come home if I didn't get it. Kind of all or nothing. That's pretty extreme. I kind of like it, you know. And I, I loved Asia, but. This feels right. I'll always be a California girl at heart. Your homecoming. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. I just... You remember that promise we made before homecoming our senior year? Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. It seems silly looking back, but I feel like it really helped me. Yeah? Yeah, like... I think I really took that mentality to heart and, you know, I've taken chances and stuck to my own promises. And I don't know, it kind of worked out even when I didn't feel right at the time. I don't know, even like going out to Asia in a weird way, it's kind of based on what we did that homecoming. That's pretty awesome, actually. Kind of wish I would have done the same. Well, maybe you still can, you know? So wise we were at 17. Now, here we are. Here we are. All right, I'm all done. Cool. Oh, um, if you ever find a videotape labeled Russ's special movie, uh, you're gonna wanna throw that away. Yeah, I will burn that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, I guess they started forwarding oh. mail already. Okay, cool. Thank you, bye. Yeah.
Yeah, it's okay. My day was hotter. Laura Croft. Peter, I didn't want to meet up to rub it in your face. No, I know. You're not the one who changed your mind right before the dance to go with someone else. Tiffany. True. But if you had gone with her, you'd have been with that whole group. And you'd be getting suspended along with them for trying to bring vodka into the dance. I'm sorry, but you can do better than Tiffany. I just hate how when I get older, this is what I'll remember. Or worse. What if it keeps happening? What if I'm like 30 and still getting dished right before the dance? Well, you going to homecoming as a 30-year-old would be my first concern. You know what I mean. Oh, Peter. You're not still gonna be single when you're 30. That's like, that's so old. Ew. <laughs> you know, like, you're gonna be married by then and have a hot wife like Lara Croft and... Oh, gonna great. I'm gonna be married to a video game character. Oh, I'm probably gonna live with my mom and in my basement and watching anime porn all day okay, and oh all night. Okay, if it comes to that, I'll marry you. What? I don't know, like, as a, as a backup. But, like, only if you were my backup, too. Kind of feeling a little deja vu here. <laughs> I mean, by then we'll probably have totally different lives and be super happy with other people. Oh, with Tiffany. <laughs> no, but seriously, think about it. Like, I know it sounds crazy, but making that promise for the dance actually felt, like, really good. Like, I could take chances and I knew it was going to be okay. I don't know, what if we had that same feeling for, like, the future? All right. We're both still single by 30. Let's get married. You didn't tell me it was your birthday. You didn't remember. I know. Sorry. Russ told me. Happy birthday. Thanks. Can I come in? Sure. I turned 30 in seven months. You ready? Honestly, no. Really? I mean, you seemed so sure earlier. Yeah, I mean, I, I am for the most part, you know, but... There are always new challenges and new chances to take, you know, right? Right. So what are you trying to say? You remember the, uh, the last deal we made? <laughs> I do. Are you still down? Down for... <laughs> to get married? I, I think we were onto something back then. No, I mean, we were teenagers. We didn't know what we were talking about. Look, we're 30 now. You're 30 now, okay? I still have seven months, but don't get caught up in the age. Just think about the possibilities for a second. Okay, well, here's the possibility. Uh, we live a lifetime of resentment toward each other because we made a silly agreement when we were young and naive. That sounds like a typical marriage to me. Well, this sounds crazy to me. Peter. Peter, <laughs> Peter, just, hey, stop freaking out. Just hear me out for a second, okay? Like, let's use this as motivation to find real meaningful relationships, you know? Like, just like finding a date to the dance. Oh, well, that turned out great for me. I know, oh, okay, this time we can help each other, you know? And if we're still single by the time we're both 30. You seriously think we'll get married if we don't find someone else? Yeah, sure. I mean, we can hash out the details later, you know, but, I mean, you said you wanted to be more adventurous. Be more adventurous. All right. Yeah? All right. Okay. If we don't find someone else by the time we're 30, we'll get married. Okay. Come on! Okay. <laughs> How do you know where I lived? Ah, that's my home.
Hey, Joanna. Um, it's Carl. I uh, heard you're back in town and uh, wanted to see if you got my wedding invite. I'm not sure if you were like weirded out by it or anything, um, but I figure we're both adults, right? Well, anyways, um, it'd be nice to catch up. So just let me know. Hey everyone, we hope you like this new short. Sorry we kind of left you on a cliffhanger there, but that was sort of the point. It's kind of like a pilot. We made this with Newform Digital. It's really cool because they're helping creators to make pilot presentations of original ideas, kind of like a test drive. So if this short does well, there's a better chance it'll become something bigger, like a series or even a movie. Don't forget to share and comment. If you want to see more of the story, let us know. As always, we have lots of new shorts coming soon. And if you haven't heard, our movie is out. It's called Everything Before Us, and you can watch it by clicking the link below. Thanks for watching.